So what are some of your mantras or your, or your ways of working through it? Because I know there's so many times when you probably just want to just abandon something, but yeah. you can't. We all go through it with stuff. So yeah. what, what keeps you on track so that you don't? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. So you don't give up, basically? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's a good question. Um, I, I love, what's his name, Stephen? Do you guys know the book, um, The War of Art? Mm-hmm. Is it Stephen, Stephen Pressfield? Pressfield? Pressfield, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love the book, uh, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Um, that that has a great prescription for getting through writer's block, and you know you can sort of pull from that to apply to any sort of challenges that you're meeting along the production phase. Um, and his advice, I think, you know, the bottom line is, in order to beat writer's block, you simply have to continue writing. You know, and you write each and every day, and the only way around it is to go through it. You know. Um, and so, and another thing, another thing that I found myself telling myself a lot um, through La Source was, who's going to tell the story? Um, if I give up, what's going to happen to the story? Um, if I'm not around to put my blood, sweat, and tears into this film, then no one else will, and no one will have the the privilege privilege of of hearing about this amazing man and his amazing accomplishments and. You know, I feel like the world would have missed out if they didn't get introduced to Joe Sui in this way. Um, and so, yeah, there's you, this obligation to to do the story justice and to tell the story properly. Um, that that is a pretty good motivating factor, I think, for me. So really, having a sense of purpose, with it, not just oh, I want to win this award or hoping to get into Sundance, but really having that sense of purpose behind the actual. Yeah, the awards, the awards just can't drive you, you know what I mean? Because because they rarely come, um, and when they do, they're really not all that rewarding, you know? And uh, what, what you find, I think, at the end of the process is what's the most rewarding thing is is the feeling of accomplishing um, this great feat of actually finishing a film, and then sharing it with people, sharing it with audiences, and, and, um, and watching the sort of ripple effect that takes place when you finish a film, uh, the people that are affected and inspired, and and in some cases the actual change that takes place it takes place as far as you know policy or in our case it was a, a, a village of 5,000 people getting water for the first time in their lives and so that's really the most rewarding thing of making movies I think is watching that ripple effect.